Hey everyone, Carmen Gibson here, back with another video. This is going to be the second video you guys get tonight. And then it's going to be a while before I buy some more of these. Anyway, here's the second Bakugan unboxing, and I'm probably going to upload it up probably near directly after uploading the one about Hales Garganoid. When I upload it and finish editing that one. As you can see, we've still got a bench of Slimmer out here for size comparison. As you guys saw last time. Anyway, this time, we will be unboxing the... Darkest of Fangzor. Fangzor is basically the new Serpentoid. I think it was, yeah, Serpentoid was the Snake Bakugan, and was somewhat, it was, yeah, one of the generic Snake uh, Bakugan in the original. And they have their now new Snake Bakugan, which is this one. I think there's also one called Serpentis, and I don't know whether or not it's also a Snake Bakugan, because it doesn't look like it. But uh, we'll get to that one another time. Comes with two of those Fist Bakugores. As you can see, it shows you the other Bakugan you can get. These are standard Bakugan with no real challenge difficulty difficulty to them at all. You've got the standard Trox, Hydras, Pegatrix, and Dragonoid. <sighs> Oof, sorry about that. Anyway, let's get this open. And like last one, uh, yep, can't get it open without really ripping up the box. So, oof it, guys. Gotta rip open the box, unfortunately, even though I always keep boxes in good condition with the Beyblades and stuff. Can't do it with the back of on. Rip, rip, rip that life, guys. That's what I was trying to do, but oh well. Ugh. Okay. Okay, there we go. Wasn't wanting to come out. I don't know. Let me row. Alright, gotta pop this off. Get the back of cores. Alright, or back of cores, you are two, like, action cores, I'm gonna call them for now. I don't know the official pronunciation, and you guys can correct me in the comments. Uh, we've got this one here, which is minus two critical, so I think this is a trap core. Because I know that those exist, I've heard of them. And we've got this one, which is a plus 100B power, if my camera will focus on it. Plus 100B power to hey, no, no, Aquas and Darkest Bakugan. Plus a 3 critical. So that's going to come in handy for anyone who battles. Let's uh, put those over here to the side. The only thing about Bakugan is that you basically just have to grab a bunch of them and then uh, put them together like that. That's neat. Anyway, let's get to the main attraction of this unboxing, the Darkest Fangzor. Oh, 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 there we go. And there's a reason this one has, like, no challenge level to it at all, because it is really easy to fold. And I don't even have to look at the instruction sheet. Bam. There you go. Darkest Fangzor. Looks really nice, too. It's pretty light, and, like, it's made to look nice, but it isn't going to, uh, yeah, it's big. So let's get ready to brawl. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh, there it goes about things or is that it won't stand up like uh it shows it's not gonna stand up like this and it will just lay flat like this there we go anyway fangzor comes with a total of 400 b power because like the original bakugan it will have the stats on it somewhere on top of it i really do like the design especially like the snake eyes on the inside I, I like the attention to detail, because if you look close enough at its eye, if my camera will focus, they actually put a bit of an indent right there in the marking. Well, not a marking, but they put a bit of an indent to signify it's like a snake eye. So I like that amount of detail. These are just looking really nice. Because, like, even though if you guys see the My Opinion on Bakugan Battle Planet, I, I'm tolerating the show and hoping that it gets better and what it is right now, 
but the products that they're making are absolutely excellent. Although the Bakugan are bigger than their original counterparts from the original Bakugan series, I'm completely fine with that. It doesn't mess with the mechanics of the Bakugan at all in any way. Especially since now, since they are bigger, they have more mechanics, more springs, and other stuff to them, which allow them to have better folding and better locking mechanisms than that of the original. Because that was one of the things about the original, is that sometimes the mechanisms and stuff which keep them in place would get rusty over time, or just wear down over time, and would eventually just sort of stop working and not work as well. And we've got Roxy over here sniffing all the stuff. Ro Roxy, you're in, you're in the, Roxy, you're in the shot. Okay, you're just gonna, just gonna stay here in the shot. Can I, can I do my thing? Roxy, can I do my thing? Can you go over there and lay down? Can you not mess with that? You, you thank you. No, the same for you. No, this is this is not this is not for you. This is no. These cards aren't for you. These aren't yours. Go, go lay down. Go lay down, Mama. Go lay down. Anyway, it should come with two cards. Does it not come with two? Okay then. I guess the it's only the ultra ones that come with two cards. Because I know that there are random boosters you can get for this. Anyway, here we is the darkest Fangzor, and I really do like the design of Fangzor. It looks really cool in anime. And if I'm right, darkest have like this shadow step or shadow ability that they can use. I forgot how it works, but darkest Fangzor, 400 B power and three critical. Not bad. Oh, also, if you want me, if you want me to comment on how I feel about the new faction symbols uh to me they're okay they're not the best i kind of prefer the old ones there's a lot of stuff when it comes to design that i prefer the old one over but it's still okay looking i and i do really like the design for things or like when it's like in anime and stuff in monster form when it brawls anyway that's kind of pretty much it for things or so let me fold up Hanos garganoid again and put those two together and look at the size comparison Mm. Still, bravo to all other people who know how to fold this stuff just easily. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. Come on. No, oh, I had it there. I had it. I had it. Why did it ruin it? Okay, there we go. Okay. It's like once you at least once you get the hang of it, you know what to do, and you get better at it. And still simple enough to where younger children can get the hang of this. Kind of loose. But oh well. You can see how kind of... You can also see how this one's a bit more clunky with all the stuff that it has. It can still roll, though, pretty properly. As long as you roll it correctly. But this one is more spherical and more smooth. So it rolls a whole lot better. Uh... Hard to say if that's gonna happen with every single one because look at this. It looks got a lot of bumps and stuff on there. I know this since it's ultra, so it's got a lot of mechanism and gears. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this review, guys, of Darkest Fangs or And if you guys saw the Garganoid, look at that flip. So yeah, the ultras kind of have a bit of more of a flip to them and a bit more action towards them. And the standard ones are just more spherical and stuff like that. I'm not dissing either. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and comment section below. And I'll see you guys. See you guys. See you guys. Peace out. Watch for dogs and do whatever you have to do to hit that like and subscribe button to show your support the channel, especially if you're new. Peace out. And don't forget to check out my video on my opinion of Battleground Battle Planet, at least the series anyway.